Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. I know you can't believe it. I saved my most favorite model for last year out of the three that we received. No particular reason, it's just the last one to leave out of the bunch. So, But yeah, we're going to be viewing the 2022 Lance 975 today. Uh, this one right here is going to require a long bed dually. Uh, you can do 350, 450, the 3500 series with your Rams and Chevys and GMCs, but needs to be a long bed dually. Need to be able to get the fat butt under there so we got the kick outs. But uh, Lance says that you can put this in a single rear wheel. I want to tell you why you need a dually. So weight wise with this camper, you're looking at 4,080 to 4,200 pounds dry with this camper um i give you a dry range because they say on the paperwork in there that you know it could involve you know 100 up to 150 pounds worth of stuff that weighs less than 20 pounds and they don't weigh all that so they say to give another 150 if needed so that puts you in the range of 4080 to 4230 dry and then wet weights are going to be around 4493 pounds to 4643 pounds it's a heavy camper that's why you need more meat on the ground all right so everybody also wants to know how much these bad boys cost right here you're looking in the neighborhood of starting out at fifty eight thousand five hundred nineteen dollars on the msrp side you're looking at a cap of about eighty four thousand nine hundred seventy eight dollars max loaded everything that you can put one on it's on it but they average about seventy eight thousand dollars on the msrp side uh, decently equipped most people don't add the lithium batteries i did on mine i don't know why yet haven't figured it out but you can add that to the campers you can add the lte wi-fi extender you can add supposedly add the truma aqua go tankless water heater i've yet to have a 22 model come in with that besides the 650 but supposedly that's an add-on let's get to the tour all right so for 2022 your mountain graphics are standard and they went to all like black accents which i think is pretty ba uh, you go to the acrylic style thermo or uh dual pane windows i like these because they kick out really far some people say that they scratch really easy but i've already washed this thing twice and i don't see any any faint scratches at all just make sure you know you don't have any gravels in your brush or something i mean wash it with a little bit of common sense patio lights are now standard over here on this side you're going to have your refrigerator access door you're going to have your battery compartment your batteries are stored on the outside of this camper uh, we've just got regular deep cycle batteries in this one right now but like i said you can do flooded agm sealed or uh, lithium with these got us another little compartment over here this is where i keep my leveling blocks and stuff on my 975 everything is heated all your compartments and all on the opposite end of this you'll see it's uh passed through your dinettes on the other side so all the heat inside the camper over there is going to make its way over here up through here underneath watch your head all right so you're going to have your city water connection your black water flush your uh, tie down holes these are oval holes for everybody that wants to go ahead and add the stable camper shore power connection 30 amp plug uh, liquid waste body waste i'll go over the gallons here in a minute fresh water drain cold and hot water drains main battery disconnect parking satellite connections and then for all my freaks out there my lovely freaks that like to be one with nature and shower outside there you go your outdoor shower you can use that to wash your dog wash yourself wash your feet whatever you want to use it for it's there all right so moving to the back now we've already made it back here wow you can tell that they didn't give me a whole lot of room to work with here but we'll use what we got so on the 975 the rear power awning with the led light strip is an option we added it on this one customer wanted it so he got it 
rear docking lights, rear patio light, backup camera. I will unlock that here in a minute. Uh, let's see, keyless entry, that's now standard for 2022. And then you have this rear storage compartment here. Little pegboard. Uh, some people load this up with pegs and put their, you know, fishing packs in there, and you can really use it for whatever you want. I believe it's like seven inches deep. I've done the measurements on this before, but I forgot. So, but you have a nice rear storage door here. The Ultra Deck's an option. This is made by Torque Lift. Uh, this is. I, I don't know why you'd order a 975 without it. I mean, you're not going to be saving much weight. They're heavy as it is, so go ahead and add it, and you'll get a whole lot of outdoor storage. This is where I keep all my doggy bone adapters. Um, anything I keep outside, like the 30-amp plug, fresh water hose, gray water hose, sewer hose, all goes in these compartments here. They're not weatherproof by any means. They have drains at the bottom, but it is good for keeping all your out, outdoor gear. And then have this right here massive little storage bin now then behind door number one you have your generator so these have the option of having an onboard generator this is a onan qg 2500 ilp which runs off your propane tanks it does have an external start and stop feature um, outside Here's our fat ladder that's uh, capable of holding up to 300 pounds. So I can get on this, you know, with a little bit to spare. All right, so let's see, Four Seasons package, that's now standard. We are eco certified, certified green. Good news, go earth. But uh, your Four Seasons package, that's gonna include like your heat, uh, heated basement, your insulated doors, ducted heat to your uh, water pump compartment. I'll show you that here in a minute and then like your skylight covers all right so here is your campground side that's what i call it it's going to be your passenger side the side power awning is now standard with led light strip you want to have two 20 pound propane tanks one has the gauge one doesn't pull off the one that doesn't have it first that way you know you ha uh, how much you have left All right, that's going to be where your furnace blows out. I call it the hand warmer. It's very handy when it's cold outside and you have that thing running and you put your hands up to it. Then you have another little storage compartment here. I forgot what I put in mine. I think I put a boot scraper in there to get all the dirt off. And then I think I have my surge protector in mine. Outdoor speakers so you can piss off your neighbors. Uh, this is going to be your water pump access where you winterize and everything so there's your water pump this is where you winterize and then you'll have another bypass inside to bypass the uh, wa hot water heater this is going to bypass your water pump then you have your little clear tube here to put in the pink stuff but as you can see here there's uh, ducted heat to this compartment so you don't you know freeze up all right this is going to be your fresh water fill i I think I told you over there I was going to go over the um, tank capacities with you. Your freshwater tank is 45 gallon, your gray water tank is 30 gallon, and your black tank is 26 gallon. So pretty good storage capacity. Remember we're talking truck campers so that, that's pretty good. This is going to be your hot water heater uh, service door. You know in order to keep hot water heater or keep hot water in the heater you're going to need to put that nut on there so it don't drain out. But yeah, give you a little side view of this bad boy. Then we'll go look on the roof. Here we are on the roof. We got the crossbars. That's an option for uh, your 22 model lances as it was in the past. Fully walk on roof. No worries about falling through anywhere. This is a very sturdy roof. Um, I know that we're going to be adding the fantastic, fa or uh, what, excuse me. We're going to be adding the max air vents to this one 
Um, I did it on mine. That was no fun, but you got to do what you got to do. All right, so on the 22s, you also have the option for two solar panels, just like you did year prior. This customer went ahead and caught two solar panels. They are 100 watt. There's us a little skylight that does pop open. I'll show you that on the inside. The new AC unit, that's the Coleman 11 with the built-in heat strip, TV antenna. And uh, I noticed that the roof material is different on 22. It's like some sort of groove material, PVC style, I think. All right, here's the inside of the new 2022 975. Before we walk in, I wanted to show you this basement door. The 975, the 995 that got discontinued, the 1062 all have that. Then you also have this awesome trash can right when you walk in. So if you're outside drinking with the boys or the girls, you don't even have to go all the way inside the camper to throw something away. You can just literally walk over, boom, toss it, crush it, you know, save space, obviously you'll get the maximum amount of uh, beer can crush in there all right now that we got that out of the way we got our nice key rack holder look at how easy that works boom and you can hold up to four sets of keys his hers the dogs the daughters the sons the visitor or just leave one open you have a spare key rack all right all your exterior lights are right here on this panel left right rear up and down and the middle's off downs like a white light or orange light and the other one the same thing all right when you walk in you have the entry up oh, there it is entry light slide out power if you turn that down that turns the power to your slide off docking lights and the backup camera very cool i guess we'll start with the kitchen let's do that all right, so in the past videos, I've been forgetting to put these in and show you guys that they have the covers for the sink. My bad. All right, so you do have a sink here. It is a single sink. It's not separated or anything. And then you have the covers here to maximize your countertop space when you're not using the sink. That's your remote. Uh, but you have enough space up here for like a crock pot, coffee pot, whatever you want to plug in. You got an AC outlet there. You got more lights right here. Um, oh, you also have these kick out windows. That one, not necessarily since your ladder's there, but you do have a beautiful view of the ladder. And then you have this kick out window here. And like I said, these are awesome. You uh, tighten them up and then boom, you have a whole lot more airflow, ambient lighting coming in. You can really light this camper up by just opening the windows. A little bit of space here for your spices or accessories. Radio that doesn't play Blu-ray. Uh, you can use it through the speakers and all that good stuff. You can play your TV through the speakers. Uh, you have your battery levels here. Fresh water, black water, and gray water. This is going to be your convenience center is what they call it. Uh, let's see. Water pump, uh, water heater on gas, water heater on electric. If you turn them both on that's kind of like a boost mode like what your tankless heaters have all right so this is going to be where you turn your generator on and off your hour meter up top here we have our uh switches for the ace or not ac the uh awnings that's what i was looking for uh on off since it has auto wind sensing you're going to need to leave it on if you plan on leaving or if it's windy outside and expect it to retract awning light switches this is going to be for your rear awning a little bit of storage here next to the microwave ac plug in for the microwave microwave range then here's your three burner uh, stove top and then your oven next to the oven underneath the sink you have more storage this is where i keep all my like cleaning equipment towels and extra paper towels and all that good stuff a little bit more underneath and i like these new handles too mine doesn't have these handles mine has this uh, excuse my language almost 
mine has the crappy uh, push in buttons on the side these actually have good handles on them no more slide out pantry but for everybody complaining about that just get you some baskets and throw them in there and then when you pull them out it's like a slide out pantry you see what i'm saying because the slide out pantry slides out and so do baskets so i'm a problem solver not a problem creator look at that pull out game strong non-slam doors everybody wants to pull these this way you pull them sideways then i don't know what the heck you put in there i haven't found any use for mine throw some ideas in the comments oh extra screws i like to have extras uh we'll go over to the dinette now let's show you the dinette all right so this is one of my main things right here since they switched to these windows i was wondering if they still had this side window they do so that's good news you still have your little side window here in the slide out and again i was concerned about that not sure if they were going to have this window here any longer since they switched to these windows but they do all right and i know everybody's saying oh those kick out windows good you're going to let bugs in like i said problem solver not creator look at this day shade you slide that down no bugs are getting in here no bugs allowed they're not welcome we're a bug free zone and then you have your nightshades also those go all the way up but yeah i really like these kick out windows i wish mine had it mine only comes out like this far it's not cool a little jealous might have to get a 22 now but uh your dinette it's like 44 inches by let's see i wrote it down 44 inches by 78 inches made into a bed so you know plenty of room for whoever you want to take with you i don't take anybody in my camper so it stays up you know like a like table and bench style so underneath oh by the way this is grayson interior i can't believe i almost skipped that grayson interior took the place of platinum this is your light gray color with a dark gray accent and then you have bronzite to choose from which instead of gray is you know bronzite whatever color that is sounds like a mineral but um it's like a like a goldish light brown color and then you have lapis uh it sounds like an std but i promise you it's not it's a uh, like midnight blue royal blue color looks really cool i like it but this one's the grayson all right these right here you have that button right there that you press and then it magically unlocks you have a pretty good sizable drawer there i put everything that i don't need in these probably sums up everybody's you know storage situation pack it full of stuff you don't need all right uh let's see refrigerator it's a six cubic foot uh fridge powered by gas ac or dc i don't recommend dc it'll suck your batteries dry so what I do is I either use mine on AC if I'm plugged in or DC if I'm, or I mean, not DC, excuse me, gas if I'm not. Gas seems to get it cooled down quicker. Plenty of room there though. Then you have the separated freezer portion. I almost skipped this. This is the crappy cork board you get in these things. I've yet to use mine, but, you know, if I wanted to, I guess I could throw a thumbtack in there with a postcard on it or something. AC outlets, USB and DC outlet. A little mood switch here so you can really set the mood at night with your lady or, you know, any, anybody else that you're with. Let's see. 28-inch TV. Uh, it is a Jensen DC-powered television. So you can run this without being plugged into, you know, shore power. Like I said, you can play DVDs through the radio there and play them on here. And you can play them through the speakers. Got your, you know, magazine racks here. Some, use, some people use them for spices or just extra storage for accessories. This is going to be the dry bath. So your dry bath models are going to be your 975, 1062, and 1172 are your current production dry bath models. little toilet there pull out drawer pull out game strong ac outlets 
little bit of storage and that's where you hide your toilet paper it's like a little treasure hunt looking for toilet paper sink countertop space for your wife's curling irons and stuff medicine cabinet vent so you can air it out in here there's your coleman ac with built-in heat strip everything is controlled by this wall controlled thermostat all right here's our queen size mattress this is a uh, 60 by 80 inches so it's true queen size or queen size got our closet i've never used mine pull up drawer forgot i had that in mind ac outlet over here and ac outlet on the opposite side with usbs and dc outlet for all my cpap users out there countertop up there by the what is that the driver's side of the camper reading lamps for everybody that likes to read at night and pretty good uh, storage space you could even you know take these shelves out and make you another closet if you wanted to hey that's a brilliant idea i'm full of them but uh, i believe that's everything i'm pretty sure that we hit everything pretty quick sorry if i rush through this my battery is about to die What I tell you, my battery died. But anyways, got me a new battery. There's a couple other things I want to show you in here, like the interior height. The uh, interior height, I wrote it. I wrote it down somewhere. 79 inches of interior height. Look at this thing. I'm like six foot, six foot one. Probably it's just six foot. I think I'm compensating a little. But I uh, got a lot of headroom here. And another thing to look for in this is when you walk out the door, no taking the noggin off. Look at this. I mean, I think I could do it if i tried like jump up but no no hitting the head in there and that's what i really like about this unit this one the 960 1062 1172 you really don't have to worry about banging your noggin on anything uh, except for the slide outs when you crawl under them if you got them out but you know just stay cautious with that but yeah that's the uh that ends the tour of the 2022 lance 975 again this one calls for a dually um you know lance says that you can do single rear wheel but when you're getting into this kind of weight let's put some more meat on the ground stay safe with it um like i said these weigh like 4080 pounds to 4230 4230 pounds dry and then weights you're looking at 4493 to 4643 pounds and then um in case you missed it in the be beginning of the video these right here start out at fifty eight thousand five hundred and nineteen dollars that's already pretty loaded up with decent equipment uh, most of the equipment you see is standard but um you can load them all the way up to eighty four thousand nine hundred and seventy eight dollars and then like i said before they average about seventy eight thousand on the retail side so uh, that kind of gives you a ballpark range i also need to throw out that that's current with today's date what is today the eighth or something so uh that's current with today's date they are doing you know price increases just about quarterly now so um you know if you're watching this a year from now of course they're going to be more than that if you're interested in placing an order and want it before the end of the year i would recommend calling me today it's not a sales gimmick i'm just trying to let you know in case you are looking for you know something within the next year or so uh these take about six to eight sometimes as long as 10 months to get um, but on average right now we're seeing about six to eight months uh, wait time on order so uh, give me a call if you're interested we'll go over a camper we'll build one how you want it 423-892-6272 all my contact information will be in the comment or not the comments the description below so look for that along with all the other little specs on this camper and average pricing all that good stuff um I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. We're looking into uh, doing some merchandise orders. So if you're interested in merchandise, let me know that in the comments below along with any other questions that you might have. Go ahead and throw this video a like. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do that. Join this fishing fun family. I think we're over like 21,000 now. That's a huge improvement from a year ago today. I think we're about double. So um we've grown fast and if you like the videos go ahead and subscribe 
if you want to be notified when I post another video for some reason you want to see me again there's a notification bell that you can hit uh, hit that and it should tell you when I upload a video so I think I've covered it all again this is Brad at Chattanooga Fishing Fun plan on doing more videos y'all stay safe and take care and I'll see you on the next one